Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. In this video, I'm going to show the Emco turret operating with a NEMA 34 stepper. Now, it's not, I'm just commanding moves as if it were a rotary axis. Um, there are eight positions on the turret, so every position, ad, to advance a position, it has to turn 45 degrees. So that's what I've got going. I've also connected the four inputs um, from the gray encoder on the uh, turret into a centroid acorn CNC motion controller. So we'll, I'll let it run a cycle where it'll stop and back up to each uh, position on the turret and then I'll repeat it and let you guys see it, uh, let you guys see the inputs um, changing on the uh, CNC 12 diagnostics display. So let me turn the camera around and let you see the turret. Oh, by the way, I have a delay of five seconds between uh, moves. Uh, it's just a G4 P5. So there'll be about five seconds delay between the turret moves. Okay, here we go. So it's a unidirectional turret. So the, the tool plate has pockets in it, ramps, and then a pocket. There's a pawl that the turret rests against. That takes the tool pressure. So that's why it advances a little further and then it comes back to um, rest on that pawl. Got one more tool change here, and and it is. I did the gearing, the ratio. That's all correct because it is resting on the on the pawl. So when it is cutting, the tool pressure is on the pawl. That's how this thing works. There's a, there's a very large pin, spring-loaded pin, that that engages the pocket in the turret, and uh, again, there's a pocket and a ramp, so that the turret can, that's why it has to rotate unidirectionally because it comes out of that ramp drops into another pocket and then it comes back and it pushes against the pocket so let me move the camera over to CNC 12 and let you take a look at it okay before we start this next round of moves uh, let me explain something um, you'll see in previous video that the turret has four optical sensors and there's a ring that blocks a combination of them this combination uh, is called gray logic. In other words, depending on the tool position, a sensor output might be high or might be low, uh, depending on, again, the tool position and the combination of sensors that's blocked. Um, there is a tooth table, so you can see that on the left it says IO, I1, I2, I3. These are the inputs, or if you will, the outputs of those sensors and then across the top of the table, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is the tool uh, position. And then if you look beneath that tool position, you'll see ones and zeros. Um, the ones being off and the zero being on. Uh, so those combinations tell the control what position the turret is in. So if the control calls for tool eight, input zero would be low, input 1 would be high, input 2 would be high, and input 3 would be low. So it just kind of gives you an idea how this thing works. So anyway, let me uh, get you up to the screen and we'll do another cycle and you can watch the input states change. You'll be looking at inputs 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're in the very upper left hand corner of the uh, CNC 12 diagnostics display. You're going to want to watch right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are the inputs from the turret. So it's in tool position one, which is currently high, 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 and low. So input one is high, input two is high, input three is high, and input four is low. And you can see one, two, and three. So one is high, two is high, three is high, and four is low. So let's go ahead and run the, the cycle. Next one will be uh, tool position two, which will be high, high, low, low. And there you go, high, high, low, low. Three will be high, high, low, high. 
four will be high, low, low, high. Five is high, low, high, high. Six is low, low, high, high. Seven is, uh, we'll see here. There you go, it's low, high, high, high. And then eight, low, high, high, low. And then it's gonna come back around to uh, tool position one. And that's the cycle. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, basically, I wanted to test the turret, wanted to make sure it's repeatable, that I had the gearing set up properly um, to turn that rotary axis. It's turning as a rotary axis right now. Um, but hopefully in the next video, um, when I call a tool change, the turret will rotate to that tool position. So um, that might be a little bit yet. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share with you uh, my progress so far. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next one.